Hi, welcome to this clip and look at how you can deduce the identity of an organic compound using clues in the question. So it requires a bit of a problem solving approach. So let's have a look at the question first and how we might process it. So the first thing to do is to read the question. So it tells you that the major hydrocarbon is camping acid butane and some camping acid reacts with chlorine to form a mixture of structural isomers. And it asks you what are the conditions required for this reaction to take place. So the only way that butane can react with chlorine is using free radical substitution. So therefore, you'd be looking at UV light. So it says two structural isomers A and B were separated from this mixture, and they had a molar mass of 92.5 grams per mole. And they want you to deduce the molecular formula of these two isomers. So the first thing to do is to substitute one of the hydrogens in butane with chlorine and see what you get. So these are the uh, monosubstituted products that we just mentioned. And uh, if you take each of them, you can see that it adds up to C4H9Cl. So it's often quite a good idea to use the molecular formula to allow you to work out the MR. Because what you can do is simply um, add up all of the uh, relative atomic mass values, and that happens to be 92.5 grams per mole. So we're there already. So all they want us to do is put down the molecular formula, which obviously is C4H9Cl. Now what they want to do, you to do is to put down the displayed formula of A and B. Well, we're nearly there. We just haven't done the displayed formula yet. So we convert the formula we came up with into a display formula, and uh, you make sure that all of the bonds are populated with atoms, and every atom is visible. So that gives us one chlorobutane, because that's our carbon number one. You could also put that here or here, or you could have put it here, here, or here. It doesn't matter where that chlorine goes, it's in carbon number one. For two chlorobutane, it could have gone here, 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 or here and we still get the mark. Okay, hopefully that's a useful um, way of having a look at this kind of question. Thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.